So Amazon has this cool feature where they compile the best-selling products in different categories. This right here is the best-selling game laptops with the filter of under $1,000. And all these laptops that Amazon curates are all fantastic. I think the ranking here is based off of a combination of the sales velocity, consumer ratings, uh, even how often they are returned. So essentially, the, the laptops that Amazon shows you at the top of the page are most likely to result in a sale of the product. Not necessarily the best overall gaming laptop, even though, of course, there is a lot of overlap there. So I figured for this video, I can go ahead and pull out the handful of the top laptops on this page and rearrange their order on the page to have the best value laptop first and go down from there. Okay, so out of all these laptops, these are the six identified as the best most compelling overall package. So they essentially give you the most laptop for the price that you're paying. And surprisingly, the very first laptop Amazon shows you, their best overall pick, is not one of these laptops I have chosen. Now again, this Amazon's choice is a fantastic laptop. It's Acer, 850 bucks, i7, and RTX 4050. GPU. It's a fantastic gaming laptop. It's also somewhat new, it has really good ratings, and a lot of sales velocity. And this is probably why it's the number one laptop Amazon is showing you right now. The thing is, you can get an RTX 4050 for a lot less than 850 bucks. Case in point, further down on the page, I came across the Acer Nitro 5, so the same laptop but a different variant, that still has the RTX 4050 for $769. It has even better ratings. It hasn't sold quite as many units in the past month, which is probably why it's further down on Amazon's page. But the reviews, it's 4.9 stars out of 5, and I think the value here is better than the previous laptop. So the way they get this laptop to be 80 bucks cheaper than the other one we saw is via mostly the CPU. This one features the Ryzen 5 7535HS, and the other model features a Core i7 13620H. But for 80 bucks less, I'm okay with this trade-off in the context of a gaming laptop. The Ryzen 5 7535HS is a six-core CPU, and it's more than capable. The graphics card is gonna do the majority of the, the work anyway when it comes to gaming. The CPU's job is just to send instructions to and from the GPU, and you wanna make sure it's not gonna bottleneck GPU operation and this chip is not going to do anything to hinder the performance of the 4050. The other area they saved a little bit of money is with the RAM. This only by default has 8 gigabytes, but this is easily upgradable, and that's why when you look at the frequently purchased together, we have another stick of RAM. So if it was up to me and I was listing these laptops in order of their value, this one is gone and replacing it with the cheaper yet just as capable AMD version that still gives you the RTX 4050 for 769 bucks. The next laptop I think is a top choice is the HP Victus, specifically the model with the RTX 3050 and the 12th Gen i5, which goes for $669 right now. Now the RTX 3050 is a noticeable drop in performance from the 4050, but in absolute terms, the RTX 3050 is still a great chip. So that's why this laptop is $100 cheaper than the previous laptop we just saw with the RTX 4050. And I think it's just an awesome value for those on a slightly tighter budget that want the most bang for their buck. So the HP Evictus with the RTX 3050 should certainly be one of the top laptops you see when you search for best gaming laptop under 100 on Amazon. Now, since we're kind of working away backwards from the RTX 4050 to a great 3050 choice, let's go ahead and move to the RTX 2050. So the drop from the 3050 to the 2050 is a lot smaller than the drop from the 4050 to the 3050. And that's why the price difference here is only $70 cheaper. On a personal level, this is the laptop I decided to buy a couple months back, and I'm very happy with it. The RTX 2050 is a great graphics card, especially for FPS games, and it's super affordable, 600 bucks. So adding this to my Amazon page, how I would rank these laptops, this now serves as a great benchmark for these various chips. 770 bucks for a laptop with the 4050 is a steal. 670 bucks for a 3050 laptop is also a great deal. And around 600 bucks for an RTX 2050 laptop is another great price point. Another great laptop I found with the RTX 3050 is the MSI GF63. The CPU is a little bit different. We still have a fast 144 
hertz display, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And again, we have a similar price of $666. So again, this is just another great option for a laptop with the RTX 3050 at a fantastic price. The most expensive laptop I have on this list is from MSI. RTX 4050, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 144 hertz display, and it's $800. So that makes it just a little bit more expensive than the other 4050 option, but it has a better CPU, so some people might prefer this one. So it was up to me when you search for best gaming laptop on Amazon under $1,000. Instead of showing you these great laptops in this order, I think this represents a more value approach to this list. My top RTX 4050 choice is the Acer Nitro 5 with the Ryzen 5 7535HS hexa-core CPU for 770 bucks. For 100 bucks cheaper, the HP Victus with the RTX 3050 is a great cheaper alternative. Or if you want to save another 70 bucks, you can go down to the RTX 2050 version of the same laptop. For whatever reason, if you don't like HP or the Acer Nitro 5, MSI has some other great alternatives, featuring the RTX 3050 and the 4050 at similarly competitive price points. I'll go ahead and leave the Amazon link to these products below the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.